This video looks at five questions all linked to powers. Now then, when you're asked to simplify an expression with a bracket, the rule is to times together the two powers. So 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. So the answer is m to the power of minus 10. Now just as an aside, a negative power means 1 over. So this means 1 over m to the power of 10. But that would be the correct answer in the exam for this question. When you're asked to factorise this expression here, the three terms indicate to you it is the double bracket. So x and x. And I need two factors of minus 10 which combine to give 3. Well, 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. And 5 take 2 is 3. So the answer is x plus 5 and x minus 2. In part C, I'm asked to write down 10 to the power of 0. Now this is a hard, fast rule. Anything to the power of 0 is always 1. So it's worth memorising that for the future. Part D is asking us to write down a number given in standard form as a normal number. Now when you've got a negative power, in this case negative 5, there's a very simple trick. You just write down five zeros in this case, including the first zero, one, two, three, four, five, and write down your number at the end. So 6.7 times 10 to the power of minus 5 is 0 0.000067. Now in part E, I must to work out a calculation. Now 3 times 9 is 27, and 10 to the power of 7 times 10 to the power of 6 is 10 to the power of 7 plus 6, which is 13. Now it asks for the answer in standard form, and this is not quite in standard form. However, if in doubt, you could write this out longhand. So 2, 7, with 13 zeros at the end. Now this means that there's therefore 14 numbers after the first digit. So in standard form, it will be 2.7 times 10 to the power of 14. So the answer in standard form is 2.7 times 10 to the power of 14.